So here we have the heat exchanger of our shower. So basically the, the drain of the shower comes in in the middle of the, the heat exchanger and it spirals. Uh, so you have a heat exchange with the water. The water is in the outside of uh, this tube. So basically this is the supply of the water. Uh, this, this will go to the, to the central heating unit. And this one go, goes to the shower itself. This is how my uh, plumber uh, fixed everything. He never seen this. Um, there was no guide in how to correctly install this. It's the Cubic uh, 21C. Um, afterwards I found it was wrong. Um, but we're still going to test what the efficiency is. So. We are going to do it in a few steps. One without the heat exchanger. So first, we're going to check what our gas meter reading is. So it's uh, 0.76 cubic meters. I have a sensor on my uh, water supply, so we can detect it. But hope it will focus. So basically it's 201 cubic meters, 0.646 liters. Let's close it again. So this is the shower. First, we're going to put the hot water in the toilet. The toilet has a different drain, so the heat exchanger won't be used. That will be our reference sample. So it's now in the toilet, we put it on, it's a thermostat train, so we get the exact temperature and we let it run for 8 minutes, which is the approximate uh, for the average uh, shower duration. Of course in the beginning the water is cold so it's heat up, so the central heating is going to uh, go maximum power and we all have to take into account those effects. So 10 minutes have passed, don't touch the heating, we shut it off and then we let it cool down the whole system because in a normal situation you always shower with the cold system. So let's take a note of the, the gas. So it's 72.038 cubic meters. Then the water supply, it's 201 cubic meters, 0.73. It should be a 73.35. So let's start a regular shower. Gas is 722.214 cubic meters. The water is 201.8235 liters. So let's go upstairs. And then regular shower. So it's cold. And let's wait for another 12 minutes. 12 minutes have passed. So let's stop the shower. You can really feel it's hot over here and it's colder over here and even, even it's colder over there. 
Oh. Maybe I should measure that for the next time. Oh. So, let's look at the gas meter reading. 722.391 cubic meters. And the water is 201.917 cubic meters. So, let's do the calculations. So let's do the calculations. Uh, first we had the gas meter. Uh, so this was the liters gas in the beginning. This was the end which results in 278 liters of gas for the water. It is 87 liters, which if you calculate it, it's 3.2 liters of gas per liter water that we have. Well, now for the second run, we used 177 uh, liters of gas, which is less. We used 92 liters of uh, water and then we have the result that we used 1.92 liters of gas per liter. Well, the efficiency then is 40% and that's at the rate of 7.2 liters per minute. How we calculated the liters per minute? Um, I have the water sensor, so if you would see, I can see each spike was a shower uh, or, or a bath of, or something else. So I could check how many liters per minute and that's necessary because of the, uh, the specifications uh, of the Q Blue Shower Safe Heat Exchanger 21C. It was noted as uh, uh, efficiency of 65.6% .6 at the flow of 9.5 two liters um, so I've gotten a efficiency of 40% which is uh, less than the factory specified um, I didn't expect it to be better um, but actually it's a quite a nice saving and if you calculate even more the price of this product was uh, almost 500 euros excluding the installation cost I should calculate what would be my return of investment would be, um, but it would be quite a few years before you get it returned. So it's a very nice result, uh, considering the fact that this um, installation would last for a very long time because it's not wearing out and you don't have to clean it or all sort of things. So I would advise this to use in each uh, each home. So thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one, um, and maybe I do some next experiments because this was only one test. But in reality, we should do more samples. Um, but this gives a very good indication of the real life efficiency.